Hi everyone, this is Hidden City Pictures and um, I've got a backpack. Now, for any videographer or photographer, whatever you are, the tech bag is one of the most important aspects. And um, yeah, I want to show you what I take in mine. Now, I'll be going on a trip to Branson soon, um, Silver Dollar City. I've made a few videos on my channel before. But, um, yeah, I figured might as well make a video showing what I bring when I go places. So, first off, the bag I use. This is GoPro's Day Tripper. Um, it used to be known as the Seeker. It's changed a little bit, but not much. Um, I like this bag a lot. And, um, yeah, so... I will um, show you what I put in it. So, there are a couple main compartments. There's this front pocket thing. Don't put a lot in here because that just causes problems. There's this main compartment, which is the main bulk of the bag. It's huge, fits everything you need. There's this pocket within there. Now the reason that I can't overload this front one too much is because if I do, this has no room for anything. There's also this pocket. And um, yeah, it's nice. It has a little hook in there. It's handy. That's where I keep my like daily use items has the camera compartment, if I can open it. Yeah, it's just a couple of the dividers that you see in just about all camera bags. Then it has two little pouches up here. And um, in the back you have a laptop storage area. You can put a laptop in there. Then there's another place that's meant for, for a hydration bladder. Um, yeah, and there's the little hole up at the top that you put the straw through. So yeah, let's get loading. So in the laptop pocket, I suppose I obviously keep my laptop, which is obvious. Now in the hydration bladder portion, normally I keep an iPad. That's an old one there, it has a 30 pin connection. If any of you remember that. And um, a mouse pad. You like it? I do. Keep that in there as well. And that's that. However, because we're going to a theme park, I do not exactly need any of this. So instead we're putting in a hydration bladder And boom, just like that, you have a straw. All right, now, let me get that out of there because I'm not going on vacation right now. All right, GoPro compartment. Considering it's a GoPro backpack, it makes since to do this part next. So let's go. Did it work? Maybe, I don't know. It's a new transition for me. I've never tried it before. Hope it works, but either way, whatever. The point is, I have all my GoPro stuff in here. And um, I have the Max. The Hero 8 with media mod and um, display mod. So yeah, I have a little flip up display. It's really cool. Now it's not waterproof this way, so I have to um, have the waterproof housing. And um, in here, I have the door, so yeah. It's just generally, if I 
am using a GoPro, I can use the Max instead and then keep the media mod on this. It's just handier that way. And if I really wanted to, I could just take the GoPro straight out of the media mod and um, put it in here without the door. But then I just have to make sure I have the hard back instead of the skeleton back, you know, simple stuff. Over here I have my batteries. Um, that's for just all my cameras that I keep with me. So my DSLR um, gets these. It has another one in it. Um, Hero 8, have four. And then my GoPro Max, I have two. So yeah, that's where batteries go. And it's really handy, It's just, it all sits there. And um, when it's actually up in a you know normal sitting way, they don't really fall around like this, but they do when I have it like this. Now, in this compartment, little pocket thing, I have some anti-fog sheets and a lens wipe, um, a cloth one. And yeah, when I'm bored, I just like to clean all my lenses and this plastic and, you know, all that stuff. In here, I have like general GoPro accessories like the battery door, um, thumb screws, those weird bubble lens things that the Max has, you know, just stuff like that. And um, yeah, I have to have these ones in this one and these ones in that one because this one can like compress, this one can't. So generally when I stick it upright, the batteries take up less space. So yeah, so that's the GoPro compartment. Ah. If only I could get it to there we go. sit right. Perfect. It's like packed to the max. Now for this pocket, this front pocket thing. I like to keep my cables in here because it's just nice and easy to reach in and grab them. And if I don't have too much in here, then I don't have to go digging and it's just wonderful. So the first thing I put in here is a 30 pin for my iPad because I'm old. I suppose. Next thing I keep in is a USB adapter. Um, I don't remember exactly how much this was on Amazon. It was like 15 bucks or something. It was a really good deal. And then I just put um, a USB thing in here. This didn't come with it. I just put it in because, you know, why not? It has a USB-C um, thing, cable, USB-C to USB-A. It's this one. And, um, yeah, it just has things like, um, this is an adapter for USB-C to USB-A, um, USB-A to USB-C, USB-A to micro USB, um, this would be a lightning, yeah, lightning to USB-C, um, USB-C to micro, um, lightning to micro. This one used to be a USB-C to lightning, but um, it broke. It's a micro to lightning. And this one is a uh, micro to USB-C. Perfect. All right. So yeah, that goes in there. Now the last thing is this guy. This is a little kit that I made. It has um, cables for all the cameras that I generally use. Um, first off, we have a USB-C for um, my GoPro. Now I know there's a USB-C in that case I showed you last, but you know this one's an official GoPro one and it's, it, it fits in there and it's nice. So, Plus it's nice to have all three in the same place. So yeah, there's that one. Um, this is a mini USB. Um, I use this for the point and shoot that you guys are you're not exactly watching on it, but I'm recording with currently. And I don't take that camera very often anymore, but just if I do, which I occasionally do, um, it's nice to have. The last one is for my Nikon. I don't know what this is. Give me one moment.
So after intensive research, I still don't know what this is. I'm naming it Micro Mini USB Type D. And that's the last thing that goes in there. Perfect. Nice and uh, neat in there. There's very little in there. So if I need it, which I usually do, it's just nice and easy to grab in there. Now for the main compartment. In the bottom, I put this GoPro thing, this little GoPro case. And um, in here, I just keep like general GoPro accessories. And um, yeah, so I have a Max battery charger, um, a Hero 8 battery charger, um, one clip, two clips. I have two ball heads in here. It's just one of them is holding up the camera right now, so you don't get to see it. Um, this little extension thing for GoPros, actually, let me let me show you. There we go. Just a little extension thing, and I I don't think I've ever used it, but you know, it's something that I could see myself using, and better safe than sorry. So in the top part here, I keep both types of buckle mounts. I generally don't use this one because this one literally serves the same purpose as this one but it just then I don't have to switch between the two it's just you know if I need an extra or if I break these or something you never know so yeah there's that one and then I also keep one of those tripod mount things yeah so you know it's really handy now I put this case at the very bottom for two reasons. Number one, because it's probably the stuff that I use least when I fill this thing up. And number two, it keeps the base light strong and steady, and it's really handy. Next, I put in my DSLR. Why a videographer has a DSLR, you may ask? Well, because I'm cheap. And a second lens is always nice. These are not kit lenses, by the way. I'm not that cheap. Next to those, I have my grips and mounts and stuff for GoPro. So yeah, I'll show that to you. Now the first grip I have is the three-way 2.0. It's nice, extends. I normally use this with the Hero 8. It's hard to get the whole thing in frame. There we go. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's a tripod, I suppose. Urgh. Now, some theme parks don't allow extending grips, so in the case of that, I use this guy. It doesn't extend, it's just a tripod. So yeah, Disneyland does not ex allow extending grips, but um, theme park I'm going to, Silver Dollar City, they are way more relaxed about literally everything. They literally sell knives in the park, so don't think I have to worry about extending grips. So. Yeah, that goes right in there. Next up, we have the GoPro Max Grip. It's nice. It's really sturdy, unlike someone I know. Now, this one is also a tripod. I'm going to have a full review of all my different grips and what they're used for and which ones are good and which ones are bad. Eventually, one day, someday, maybe, I don't know. It's a tripod though. Goes in there, that's all I have to say. Now, I have a cheap floating grip. It's not as good as GoPro's official one, but you know, it works, it floats, it's cheap. Perfect. I also have a wrist strap, because why not? And it fits, and it came in the same cheap kit as the um, floating grip, so might as well. Next up, chest mount. You may notice lots of my um, recent theme park POVs were on my chest because the old um, head strap that I had was unreliable and well it looked bad so I still keep it because there are a couple of good uses for it but generally I don't use it anymore. And next up is the head mount. Um, the chest mount that I showed you as well as the wrist strap came in the same cheap kit as the um, floating grip. I think I mentioned that about the 
wrist strap or whatever. This one is the um, official GoPro one. And it's just because the one, the head strap that came in the kit as these ones was just bad. So I got an official GoPro one. And so yeah, my next ride throughs will be on a head mount like they're supposed to be. Forgot to mention it earlier, but I have um, a Nikon battery charger that I keep right there. It's always nice to have a couple of rechargeable batteries for who knows what. So just throw those in there. It's starting to get full at this point and heavy, especially heavy. A mouse, because what's a mouse pad without a mouse? Next up, charger for my laptop because its battery sucks. Okay, this pocket. I keep two styluses in here, a mask, which is even Silver Dollar City branded. A little bit of extra change because, you know, never know when it'll come in handy. A couple flash drives for storing stuff on the go. Small AC adapter. A car AC adapter. A little bit of duct tape. You never know when that'll come in handy. Fingernail clippers. It's also good for cutting things like, t like zip ties and stuff when you need those gone. Two different adapters for audio. First off is one of those um, little audio jack double head things that you use for um, a, like stereos and stuff. Second is a um, dual headphone adapter and they stick nicely together. Perfect. Send those in there. And last but not least, a multi-charger. Um, it has a mini USB, lightning USB, and two micro USBs. I think this thing came out before USB-C was big, so that's why it doesn't have a USB-C. And I like to keep it on this little clip thing here so it's easy to draw out, because I use that thing all the time. Now for the two side compartments. In this one, I keep this. This is a little case for um, my microphones. First one I have in here is a shotgun mic, a really small one. And then in the side here, I keep a laugh mic. You, you don't see one in there because, well, I mean, I'm using it right now. And um, clip this onto the bottom zipper. and then just stick it right in here. Now on the other side, I keep a tripod. Now, because this thing doesn't have compression straps like the old Seeker did, I had to improvise. So all I need to do is I take this thing, put it there, wrap it around there, and do a bit of that. And boom, stays right in place. And there, that is my tech bag. Now let's see how much it weighs. Oh dear.